Trump News Backlash against Trump speaking invitation among black media Donald Trump's interview at the National Association of Black Journalists annual convention garnered controversy. Backlash to Trump speaking invitation among black media Tuesday, Washington Post columnist Karen Attaya, this year's conference co-chair, announced her resignation. When making her surprise statement, Attaya cited the Trump interview as a variety of factors that impacted her. Attaya wrote on X, to the journalists interviewing Trump, I wish them the best of luck, adding that she was not involved or engaged with in any way with the choice to platform Trump in such a format. Given Trump's love of authoritarianism and his years-long attack on the Fourth Estate, his participation at any media-focused conference would be controversial. However, the former president's invitation to speak at the NABJ meeting offended many of its members because he had toyed with racism in his MAGA campaign. The reports of attacks on black women White House correspondents by the then-president of the United States are not myth or conjecture, but fact. Veteran White House correspondent and 2017 NABJ Journalist of the Year April Ryan wrote on X, a presumed orchestrated session with the former president is an affront to what this organization stands for and a slap in the face to black women journalists, who had to protect themselves from this Republican presidential nominee who is promoting an authoritarian agenda. Tuesday saw a lot of displeasure, but not everyone agreed. Former Kamala Harris spokesperson turned MSNBC personality Simone Sanders tweeted on X that some of the top journalists in the country are members of the NABJ and asked, so why wouldn't they interview Trump? He's Republican nominee. Sanders said the disgruntled media don't realize their duties are to ask questions. NABJ didn't endorse Trump. Republican primary voters did. He should take part in actual interviews and answer legitimate questions like other presidential candidates. Although Trump is antagonistic against the press, his appearance at the NABJ as a presidential contender is not unusual. In recent decades, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush have accepted invites. The NABJ did not reply to several requests for comment Tuesday but it stated the Q&A with Trump will concentrate on the most critical concerns affecting the black community. Worse, the NABJ has invited Trump to speak, but has denied the Harris campaign's request to have her speak. A CNN source said Harris's schedule has been full since her rapid rise to the top of the Democratic ticket. Thus, she missed the Chicago conference. The NABJ rejected her campaign's appearance attempt, the person said. The Harris for President campaign staff worked together with NABJ leadership to develop an alternative, stated the individual. The NABJ team sadly declined a request for the VP to participate in a virtual fireside chat or host one in person later. Unlike Trump, Harris has always valued the NABJ and worked to ensure black reporters have a seat at the table, the individual said. The Harris for President team still welcomes the chance to implement one of the alternatives. Inviting controversial personalities like former President Trump to media events can cause communal divisiveness. April Ryan and other media professionals believe that inviting Trump to the NABJ convention is a betrayal of the organization's beliefs and a slap in the face to black women journalists. However, media celebrities like Simone Sanders believe journalists must interview all presidential candidates, regardless of their controversiality, to ask tough questions and hold them accountable. The NABJ said the Q&A would address black people's biggest challenges in their invitation to Trump.